Very impressive turnarounds in a lot of names, right? If you look, for example, like Tesla in the middle of the day, this thing looked like it was about to fall off a cliff. And then yada, 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 you know, three hours later, not only did it reclaim its area, it took out two days worth of selling, which again, it's not out of the woods just yet, but you can see here, if you could take out this channel here. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, happy Monday, everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Hope everybody had a, a nice day today. So uh, let's quickly talk about the market. Uh, we watched it. If you watched the weekend video, we talked about uh, the queues establishing the highest close uh, in the whole formation. Uh, pretty decent job today. They uh, continued to build on Friday's close. It was very touch and go for a while. Uh, you did see. Although the Nasdaq was up pretty much the whole day, you did see a lot of weakness uh, in a lot of names. Uh, Amazon uh, continues to struggle. If my quotes would work, would be great. Um, Amazon continues to struggle. Uh, a lot of the semiconductor names, and again, warranted. Semiconductors had a great run, so they're entitled to kind of get a rest. But you know, you kind of saw the same names just drifting lower. Alibaba. Um, you know, Microsoft until it finally kind of woke up towards the end of the day, excuse me, not Microsoft, um, Tesla before it turned out to, towards the end of the day, you saw a lot of weakness, but to, to, again, to give the bulls a lot of credit. And, and this is again, why, you know, technical analysis is the most important part of any, any trader's journey. And this is your lifeline, right? You can, you can ask opinions, uh, left and right to a thousand other traders. If it's not for technical analysis to give you levels off the trade where stocks are supposed to hold, where stocks are supposed to reclaim and all, or reject it, depending which market you're trading, uh, side of the market you're trading, it, it's, it really is the only thing that you do need. And if you look at today's session, you'll see a lot of really big movers. But if you traded the first half hour, 45 minutes a day, it was touch and go for a while, right? There was a lot of names that took out opening ranges went up, you know, 50 cents a dollar came in until finally around 11 o'clock or so, which is the second candle of the day, you started seeing organic strength wake up in a lot of those names that were strong in the morning, got rejected off those opening ranges, and they started reclaiming big levels. And when you look at the final numbers today, you know, they're not that impressive, but they're impressive enough. And the most important part is when you are establishing a new level, as the Qs did on Friday, Again, closing the highest in this whole formation here. Your job is just to literally just keep on building upon that fact. Again, you don't need a gangbuster nine dollar rally in the queues to kind of you know put the victory flag in the ground. All you need is to continue to build, not to sell off. The least amount of selling pressure that you get on a certain day after breakout or even an inside day, the higher probability this trend is going to continue. And that's exactly what we saw today. Uh, really good, strong close in a lot of names. Very impressive turnarounds in a lot of names, right? If you look, for example, like Tesla in the middle of the day, this thing looked like it was about to fall off a cliff. And then yada, 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 you know, three hours later, not only did it reclaim its area, it took out two days worth of selling, which again, it's not out of the woods just yet, but you can see here, if you could take out this channel here, maybe you can finally start pushing back into the 640, 650s. Again, it's not on the table, it's not imminent, but it's something definitely uh, definitely to watch. You look at a name, for example, like Zoom that we covered on, on the weekend video. Again, very, very close. It did a great job, not busted out yet, but it did an absolute great job compounding on Friday's gains. And now you could clearly see it, right? You see this orange line? This is the last supply zone. If, if Square, uh, excuse me, if Zoom could start reclaiming this area here, you could finally get a big, big push. Uh, Facebook that we covered uh, on the weekend video, we talked about the top of the range here, the top of the earnings highs. You could see it broke out as well. And slowly but surely, you're starting to get a lot of names doing exactly the same things. Uh, even names like Snow, which which was turned out to be a pretty good trade today. Um, even names like Snow, which again, are not out of the woods just yet, but you can see it had a big move, consolidated this whole range, getting above this range. And now it's like literally a couple of bucks away from stretching out into the 260s, 270s, and 280s. 
And again, if you go and if you are a believer in an option flow, you saw a really aggressive uh, June and July buyers coming in uh, for the 275s, for the 280 uh, calls. So keep definitely, definitely keep an eye uh, on names like that as well. Even names, for example, uh, even names, for example, on the smaller side, there's a lot of smaller names that are catching very, very good order flow. Like check out this name, uh, NMMD, so, you know, a name that I'm definitely watching for tomorrow. You saw a really good call buying coming in in the June, I think uh, 11 days expiration of the June five calls. I mean, I mean, I'm not a, the smartest guy in the world. This thing is a 380. They're coming for the uh, for the $5 calls. If they start reclaiming today's range, who knows? Maybe this thing could take off. Uh, a name like Jibo, for example, right? Another name. Uh, they came today for, it was either the June or July expiration on the 10s, but you could see it. First close uh, out of supply. So you're getting a healthy balance today of smaller cap names, uh, beta names, and a lot of heavyweight names, for example, even Boeing that's starting to make the turn here and reclaim the five days of moving average. And the one common denominator they all have is short term uh, option call aggressive repeat buyer expiration that are oversupply. So it doesn't make a difference if you're looking at Boeing or if you're looking at a smaller name, that play is still the same. Option flow, short term expiration. And if they confirm the previous day's channel, what we're looking for tomorrow in certain names, maybe you can get a day to run with a lot of aggression. So if you look at today's action, it, it all depends on what you trade. Um, Snow really saved my day. Um, I, I was getting some paper cuts early in the morning, like nothing was following through. And when I mean paper cuts, literally like paper cuts, like 10 cents, 12 cents, like literally stocks would take it out highs, going up 50 cents a dollar and then just really collapsing. So I, I caught like a lot of small paper cuts in the morning and then snow, there was a monster offer sitting there. Like there was, a mil it felt like a million shares offered there at 250. And you just saw like buyers were coming in. They just were not intimidated at that offer. You started seeing those 275, 280 calls coming in. And check out Snow Entry Day. That was really cool. I mean, this thing literally just exploded on, on one shot. So here is that two. Let me just show you here. So here is the whole 250 area. You see this whole 250 area? And it just absolutely went nuts here as soon as they cleaned up uh, the offer. So that was a really good save. But if you look at... Uh, the day's pivots, uh, a lot of really strong moves. Uh, you had GameStop going absolutely nuts. Uh, NVIDIA, again, continues to give big order flow. Um, Snow, Tesla, I, you know, again, Tesla is starting to wake up. Again, a couple of days, but it's starting to wake up. Facebook, Roku is ready to go. So you have something uh, for everybody today. I tried again, I'm trying to put as many of the smaller cap names with option flow uh, on the Twitter feed, uh, something for everybody just to have a piece. Because again, it doesn't make a difference if you're trading a two thousand dollar, excuse me, two thousand dollar share pivot or a two dollar stock. As long as there is option flow, repeat option flow, and you have a range with volume, it is all valid. So let's talk about uh, today's today's action. This one was the most. You want to hear the most amazing part? Dell was actually one of my focal points of the day, and I said to myself, "Let me watch this thing, right?" And it was so thin, and it put an initial move of like 104.40, and then we were watching it for a second entry and watching it and watching it, and it never came, and absolutely never came. Ironically, if you look at Dell's chart, look at this beautiful chart, and yet, right? Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous chart, and yet, absolutely didn't it didn't make even a dent, not even close. So it is what it is. Uh, aluminum. $15, I still like it here. Beyond went absolutely nuts. Congratulations for all you guys uh, who caught Beyond. Uh, 148 needs to build. Here was Beyond, right? So here is the 148 right over here, right? This whole channel here, uh, 147.76, 148, and took out the 148. Uh, absolutely went nuts, went to 156 on its first candle. Uh, really big move there. And again, this is my point about uh, small cap uh, for small cap players, right? DS, small cap players, uh, 336, uh, 336, 340 needs to build. I still like it. Not a huge move, but they did come on Friday for the $11, uh, excuse me, for the $5 calls, which is very, very odd. Uh, but here again, you know, went to uh, 347, first close above the Bollinger Band, still looks pretty good. Uh, if you are in it, uh, Facebook, ni nice move on Facebook, 334 uh, macro needs to build. Here was Facebook that took out this whole uh, 334 channel, went to uh, almost 338. I still like it. I still think it sees 
340, we saw short term 345, 350 call buyers uh, come into the name. Again, NVIDIA continues to be a rocket. Keep in mind, it's super overextended. Everybody knows that, right? For experienced traders only, 707 needs to build. Maximum risk, a dollar. This is, you know, a continuation from Friday's pivot. And NVIDIA had its first move, uh, you know, really, really big initial uh, move here. You can see this whole 707 channel. Uh, it went to like 712. And again, this is the point of a stock being over overbought, right? They, they took it down right after and they took it all the way down to 687. So again, guys, keep this in mind. There's only one breakout, right? The breakout on NVIDIA was right over here, okay? Everything else is continuation. So the higher, right, the higher a stock goes away from its breakout level, there's always a higher probability that it's going to get pulled the hardest. So if you are trading a stock, again, understand the difference between a breakout and a continuation. This is obviously one big continuation. You're still continuing to buy this thing into dips and running it uh, ahead of uh, the split. So again, pretty decent move there. Uh, Google, sneaky area, 2400. It reclaimed the 2400. Now it's set up for a macro uh, for a macro move. So here is the 2400 area. Didn't do anything yet today. Close at 2402, but you can see it's setting up for this run uh, to the 2431 area. Google looks really good as long as the market uh, continues to play nice. Uh, Neo, big call volume, uh, big call volume coming in for the 45s. We even saw the 50s as well. Neo 43 needs to build. Here is Neo. Uh, nice push today when it's hot, you know, pretty much close at the highs. Um, I still like, I still think this thing gets uh, to this 44, 44 and a half, 45 level. Still looks pretty good uh, for tomorrow. Uh, FSR, big move on FSR. FSR 1640, another name we uh, talked about briefly in the weekend update. 1640 needs to build. Here was uh, FSR, right? Took out 1640 and traded all the way to the next supply zone. Uh, at 1745 for the highs of the day. Again, this thing starts building over 1750. Uh, this thing has more room to run. Uh, eyes, I still like. It triggered near the close. I, I still like this eyes. Eyes 7 needs to build. We also talked about this uh, in the weekend update. Here is eyes. Uh, it took out It took out 7, went to 710, closed right at 7. If this thing starts building, guys, this 715, 720 level tomorrow, I still like this thing. Really, really big move uh, potential in this thing if it starts to confirm. Uh, Airbnb, I don't believe, I wasn't watching Airbnb. I don't believe it got up there. Airbnb, 153 needs to build. Nope, didn't get up there. There's a reason why I wasn't watching it. EA, uh, 146 rejected twice, needs to establish a new base. Here was EA, right? Here was EA. Uh, right to this 46 level, still didn't confirm, guys. So definitely want, continue to watch this thing, folks. This is three times, once, twice, three times. You see this all under uh, 146. As soon as this thing gets starts building above 146, it's going to well, it should go. So keep an eye on EA as well. Uh, Zoom 340 needs to build. Here was Zoom. The macro move is coming, guys. It's coming, right? So it took out 340. Uh, it went to 345. The key is this whole area here. If it starts building above this whole area here, this is where you can finally start stretching. So I think it could be one day away. Uh, Peloton, I screwed this up big time. Big time, I screwed this up. I actually took a 28 cent loss on Peloton. 10680, 107 needs to build on the upgrade. Uh, Peloton, as you can see, I completely screwed it up. It went to 111. Don't ask me. I screwed up. Um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Dick Sporting Goods, 98, 98, 50. New base on the Morgan Stanley upgrade. Here is uh, Dick Sporting Goods. So it took out the 98, 98 and a half. Uh, went to almost 100 and then completely died out. Didn't do nothing after that. Uh, Fubo, 29 needs to build. Here was Fubo. Fubo had a big, strong move. Congratulations for you guys who caught Fubo. Uh, took out this whole channel at 29. Went to 31, 40s. A lot of short interest in that stock. Uh, Game stock went absolutely bananas. I wasn't watching Game stock, so if you caught Game stock, God bless. I wasn't even watching it. Game stock, experienced traders only. 265, 266 needs to build. And apparently, from what I understand, uh, Game stock went absolutely nuts and traded all the way up to uh, 282. So if you took it, congratulations. I had nothing to do with it. Uh, snow, nice pop on snow. Uh, my highest sales in the 252s. Uh, again, 20, again, same thing, guys. You see the call buying? It's call buying over and over and over again. Same names. The June 18, $20 calls came in and closed at the highs. 
on FSR. Roku, again, 337, 338 needs to build. Again, they came for the 340 weeklies. Here's Roku, right? They came for the 340 weeklies, and Roku pretty much closed at the highs, 342s. Nice pop there on Roku. Again, Zoom, take on the way up, 350 call buyers. Again, the same thing over and over and over again. Call buyers, short-term expiration, range confirmation, snow, nice move, Neo, nice move, blah, 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 blah. So look, the market continues to be uh, really, really good. Guys, also for all you guys who like these smaller cap names, keep an eye on this um, ANY. There was a late day, um, late day press, uh, press release, something to do with some Instagram influence about making some coin, blah, blah, blah. Who knows, man? If this thing starts maybe building above this 205, 220 range, maybe this thing could light up here. A lot of volume here came in. So keep an eye on this thing for the next few days. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. And with God's help, I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.